I filled an Ikea bag for $30, so probably about 25 cents into this. Cleaned perfectly and looked close to new. Sold in about two weeks for a full price five plus shipping. It's a Blue's Clues handy dandy notebook from 1999. Vintage and super clean. All right, it says, thanks to your videos, I knew vintage goodie is a bolo. I mean, this isn't the biggest money one, but this is like one of my favorites because I love selling stuff like this. This is incredible. Hey, Bolo Buddies, thanks for watching. Amazing, right? All right, let's get started. Hey, Bolo Buddies, thanks for watching. All right, in this video, we are going to talk about big money bolos, items to be on the lookout for, items you can hopefully buy low and sell high. I am going to tell you where they got it, what they paid for it, and what it sold for. These come from my Facebook members. So, what I do is I post this in my Facebook group, share your best October bolo, and then Everybody puts their uh, screenshot in the comments with the information and I put it in video format. You will hear me shout out certain YouTube channels or eBay stores. That's because they are members of my YouTube channel and I just do that as a bonus. So they will be linked down in the description if you want to check them out. This is a super great way to learn about bolo items and the big money ones at that. So uh, feel free to go over to my Facebook group. It looks like this and join and come share bolo. All right, let's start with the first one here. This one comes from uh, Bolo Buddies member Noni's Treasure House. She said, I got these designer New York wallpaper at Goodwill for $3 for about, uh, um, I'm sorry, got all three for about $6 and sold them all for $149.97. This is what they look like. So it's wallpaper. You know who else sells wallpaper is Farm Girl Scavenger Noel. And I was at the Goodwill Benz um, not long ago and I had wallpaper in my cart and it was textured and it was really old and I really felt like I could sell it. And they probably would have given me a discount because it was really heavy. Um, Sometimes really heavy items they will give you a better deal on. But like the edges, it just seemed a little like the edges were dirty. And I'm like, well, that's going to be really hard for somebody to use this wallpaper if certain areas are dirty. So I left it behind, but I don't know if I should have. So you may see that in a future Goodwill Bins video. I'm not sure if that one's posted or not. Okay, this one comes from Ohio Treasure Hunters. And... He's got a few for us, but they are really, really small. I'm going to try to pop these up bigger for you guys. But he said, I got these off of an auction on high bid. I paid $16 for five of these. I listed them high at $49.99 each. And within a couple of days, I had someone offer me $30 each on four of the five I listed. So I sold a lot of them to the buyer for $120. They were all in for $135 plus shipping. Oh, my goodness. I can't even see what they are. I can't read it. Um, I think when I pop the screen share up, you guys will be able to see it. Um, Ohio Treasure Hunters, can you give me bigger screenshots in the future? Um, that will definitely help me out. Okay, here is another one that he sold. And this one, this is how I need the screenshots. He did good on this one. I got this at the Goodwill Bins. Would have paid around a dollar for it. I sold it for full asking price during a promotion for $79.99 plus shipping. Buyer was all in for $95.80. It is vintage Estee Lauder perfumed soap bars. And this is what it looks like. I paid a dollar for this doll at a garage sale this past summer. It sold on Mercari for $65 within 24 hours of listing. She's missing her shorts and she had a few small stains on her dress. Yes, the big comfy couch Molly is definitely a bolo. This is what she looks like if you're not familiar with her. I sold this after about six months of being listed for a best offer of $175 plus the buyer paid shipping. I picked it up at a garage sale for 50 cents. I had no idea it was worth that much. I just thought it looked nice and someone would want it. It's a stately homes, um, Sir Humphrey. Oh boy. Mata Heda artichoke lidded box bird, Italy rare. That's what it looks like. So it took a best offer of 175. That's fantastic. Hello buddies member hippie thrifter got this piece of fabric for 25 cents at the thrift store sold for 40 on mercari in less than a week quick easy sale and won't break oh 
oh, that's my kind of listing. Um, this is what it looks like. It's Cranston Print Works Keepsake Crafts Nativity Cutout. That's fantastic. I'm always on the lookout for unique plush. And this was a great one. I paid $1.50 at a thrift store. It sold in a few days for full asking. As a side note, this wasn't the only great plush I found that day. It's a vintage Hanna Barbara Top Cat Plush 1990 Korea, sold for $74.99. This one comes from Mom Knows Treasures. This is her YouTube channel. She said, sold for $166 on Mercari, a day to remember vinyl record. Paid $40 on whatnot. Uh, sold in a week. This record originally was sold at Hot Topic for $14.50 and was limited to 3,000 pressings. Um, all right, you guys. So if you're not on Whatnot, it is a place where you can source. I do have a link down below that will take you to my Whatnot. I haven't sold anything yet, but I'm going to. So follow me, Bolo Buddies, over on Whatnot. And if you're not already on there, you can get a $10 credit if you use my referral link. That's a $10 credit to shop. And that is linked down in the description. Okay, this one comes from Leo's Treasures. She said, I bought this at an estate sale. It was a, in a big bag of toys. I bought the bag because it had a vintage McDonald's Big Mac and fries in it. I'm guessing she's talking about the Transformers. I didn't know that, um, hold on. I didn't know what this was. So I looked it up and was really surprised. The entire bag cost $2. So this probably was about 20 cents. I still have one more for sale. This sold for $32.75 in the buyer paid shipping. You guys, I tell you all the time, replacements, baby bottles, um, for the baby alive, the spoons, um, what's the other things? The for real pets, the bottles, the cookies, um, the broccoli, all of those things are a bolo. This run right here is a 1991 Kenner baby, all gone baby, cherries, jar, and spoon. I mean, this isn't the biggest money one, but this is like one of my favorites because I love selling stuff like this. This is incredible. All right, this one comes from Noelle Farm Girl Scavenger, and she is also a moderator of the group. Noelle, thank you for helping me with the Facebook group. Um, we are, what, at over 75,000 members, and my moderators are fantastic. They help me keep everyone in line. If you are in my Facebook group, my number one thing is please be nice. And if you have nothing nice to say, please scroll. Um, I've had people reach out to me and they're like, I just can't believe that you allow this. And I'm like, you guys, I'm not on Facebook all day. Like we're doing the best we can. Like we all are full-time resellers. Like we're not on Facebook. We don't live there. So what you guys can do is click on the three dots of the comment and report the comment that's mean, and that will put it in a certain area for us to go and remove it more quickly, okay? We will see it right away because we don't read all the comments. There's no way we can do that. If you're on your phone, you hold your finger on it and that will pop up the report button, okay? So please report. We definitely do not want people being mean to others. That is not something that I support or the moderators support. So um, if you see a mean comment, I'm not allowing it. It's, it's because I haven't seen it. Those uh, comments get deleted and those people get removed from the group um, depending on how many violations they have or what it ended up being. So just so you know, if you're in my Facebook group, please, we are doing the best we can. And um, yeah, it, it, it's a big group. It's a lot. It's a lot. So thank you all for your patience and please, please report. Okay. So what did Noel sell? after I got off on that little tangent there. She sold this on Bonanza and Bonanza and eBay link. Um, I did it for a little while and I just, I wasn't selling enough on the platform. So I just decided to get off that platform. I know that she does. And I think the Rebel Reseller also sells on um, Bonanza. So you can check them out for more details about uh, Bonanza if you want. She sold this for $191.40. She said, all in, I paid $12.50 for the set at the last day of an estate sale. And it is 45 pieces of Panorama Stainless by Oneida. There it is. That's what it looks like. $168.29 plus shipping. Okay, Noelle also sold this uh, Christopher Radko Frosty Friends Retired Glass Christmas Ornament. Christopher Radko is definitely a bolo. 
$199.99. The buyer was all in for $225.15 and she paid approximately $2 in a bulk buy from an estate sale. Here's another one from Noel. This was free to me and it sold for $79.74 all in. This is just a very tiny pamphlet type book with maybe 20 total pages. Gotta love ephemera. I will say that um, you need to go watch Noelle's channel because she does these videos. They're called Let's Talk About It and she picks categories. Um, they're kind of like my category bolo videos, but completely different because she goes live, has everything set up. You guys can ask questions and she's just super knowledgeable about vintage things. And I just sold something Kurt Adler on eBay. My notifications are popping up. But this is a lamp collector's handbook from 1969. And you guys, she sold it for $69.99 plus shipping. I mean, she is a bolo finder. Definitely go check out her YouTube channel. Got a nice bolo from a yard sale this weekend. Bought two of these masks for 25 cents a piece. First one sold in 24 hours for full asking price of $250. It's a ghost scream mask. Um, what I say about the ghost scream mask is always do a um, auction and start your auction high because you just never know if you're going to get that crazy bidding war. I will also say that I've sold many of these and a lot of times people do not pay and you do relist them. So um, Noel Farm Girl Scavenger, she sold um, a scream mask for big money. It's in one of my uh, featured members videos. All right, I got this from a thrift store for $7.50. It caught my interest because it was made in the Netherlands, sold for full price of $41.39 in under a week. This one comes from Vintage Spice. This is her YouTube channel. She is a Bolo Buddies member. This is a way to play highway flexible toy road set. And um, she's got some really great what sold videos. She picks up a lot of stuff. Um, she does do some toys and there's a lot of things that she picks up that I don't know about. So I really like watching her channel. And again, it's right here. I did amazing steals and deals sell now. It is a 60s LeBlanc Paris wood vintage alto clarinet. Sold it for $850 and he got it for 50 bucks. His estate sales are incredible. Oh my goodness. Wow. Okay. Now I did feature the next two in my featured members video, but I didn't realize he posted the information here. So when I went to read them off, I didn't have the information. So if you guys watch that video first, or I don't know which one's going to post first, but here's the info. This pack of vintage coin purses was found at an estate sale for a dollar and sold for full asking price in a week for $75. That's awesome. Uh, the plane was at the same estate sale, paid 10 for it. So it is a Mastercraft airplane, Wright Brothers Flyer Kitty Hawk. And he sold that for $220. So, all right, let's see. This one here is another one, uh, no Noni's Treasures House. Got this at an estate sale for $7 on um, seven dollars for both the earrings and the brooch sold within a couple hours for full asking price of $89.99 and this is what it looks like it's crown trafari butterfly silver tone rhinestone brooch and earrings these sold for a best offer of $275 he paid under I'm sorry she paid under $20 for all of them they are M.A. Hadley pottery ski skier two salad two bread plates, four bowls, salt and pepper lot right there. That's what it looks like. Would have walked right past it. Number one, it's breakables. Ah, okay. Let's see. Paid $40, sold in two days with the best offer of 401 plus shipping. It's a Denon DJ DS1, I don't know, audio interface. I have no idea what this is, but it, it's a big money bolo, sold for $401. This vintage painted pony tapestry, is it tapestry or tapestry? Tapestry, I think, right? Jacket stayed in my profit pile for a couple of years. Raise your hand if you have a profit pile or a money pile. Some people call it a death pile, but I don't like that. It's definitely a money pile because that stuff is all money over there. Um, but 
I have a lot of stuff sitting in mine. I just did a video that says, am I a hoarder or a reseller? And this is what that looks like. So that's more of a vlog style video. Um, I haven't done a whole lot of those. You guys can go check it out and let me know what you think. But I show you my money pile and I also show you all of my active, how I have things laid out and how I keep track of like 7,000 items. So um, you can check out that video. But anyway, she said, I don't re remember exactly what I paid for it. Probably around eight at a local thrift. Listed it in September and sold it in October for $64.99. It's a painted pony jacket, a rodeo cowboy western style. This is what it looks like. I bought eight different light shades, all from the same era, but different colors, shapes for 11 each back in May at a live auction. I listed two right away and just kind of was sitting on the others. I sold one plane fairly quickly for 45. I knew this one would sell eventually, but I had started my price at 150 and slowly dropped the price every month. I'm extremely extremely, I'm extremely happy with what I got. It sold for $115. It's this antique art deco hobnail glass ceiling light shade. It's incredible. Jadeite green clear glass. This one comes from Thrift and Style 1156. I bought this last week at the Goodwill for $8. It's an MCM mid-century modern art deco five candle wall sconce made of brass, sold for full asking of $89 plus shipping, all in 121, sold in 10 days. Um, I first listed it at 69 and then revised to 89. And this is what it looks like. Found this Blue's Clues handy dandy notebook in the basement in a basket at an estate sale. It was clearance day and I filled, filled an Ikea bag for $30, so probably about 25 cents into this. And this is a different person than the other Ikea bag. Everybody's got Ikea bags. You guys, I did not have an Ikea bag. And I went to a garage sale and this lady had this Ikea bag sitting by her stuff, uh, her table or her checkout table. And it just had a bunch of bags in it. And I'm like, can I buy your Ikea bag? And she sold it to me. So I have an Ikea bag. I mean, I'm like been selling since 2005 and I did not have an Ikea bag. So... Now I do. All right, so that's my little Ikea bag story. So let's go back and see what she said. I filled an Ikea bag for $30, so probably about 25 cents into this. Cleaned perfectly and looked close to new. Sold in about two weeks for a full price of 85 plus shipping. It's a Blue's Clues handy dandy notebook from 1999. Vintage and super clean, 85. That is awesome. All right, it says, thanks to your videos, I knew vintage goodie is a bolo and was able to grab this buried in a drawer at an estate sale. Thank you, Courtney. This was a fun flip, bag day, clearance day, so probably about 50 cents into this. Sold on Mercari in about three weeks. It's a vintage goodie hair pick, white, purple, pink, dipped ends. Ooh, nice keywords. $29 plus shipping. Love it. I found this at an antique mall on a beach weekend trip for 15. You can see my feet in the picture because I took it as soon as I got to the car. It sold before we headed home for $275. That is why photo room is so fantastic because you can take your pictures on the beach. It will crop your feet out of it and it's right there. It's an app on your phone. I highly recommend photo room. It gives you that nice crisp white background. I love it. Um, I do have a link down below if you guys are interested in Photo Room. I do have videos that show you how it works, um, but you can do like bulk editing. It's great. I'm going to actually be working on another tutorial because um, I also use it for other things, but um, like my thumbnails and stuff like that. But link in the description, 10% off. I think that's what it is. You'll get if you use that link and that you have to buy the year. Not, it's not that bad, you guys. It's totally worth it. Um, but you can do 50 at a time. Just take your pictures. They turn white background. It's amazing. You can take your picture in the grass. You can take it in your driveway. Nobody's even going to know. So anyway, what did she sell? It was this vintage 1973 Jovan Man hunting kit. Musk. It's Musk. And um, she just did a video. Um, I don't think I mentioned it in this video. I've been talking about it in some of my other videos because I think it's really important. Uh, they changed how you ship perfume. So um, go over to her channel. This is the video. There's a certain thing you have to put on the package. 
uh, she got items returned to her because they didn't have it. So, and now she has to pay postage again. So that really stinks. And I didn't know about it until I saw her video. I got this at the bins and paid $2. Sold for best offer of $120. And it's soft surroundings, tapestry, tapestry, coverlet queen. So a coverlet or a duvet cover, I think are the same thing. Am I right? Um, those usually do pretty good, but they're big and heavy. Uh, this one sold for $148.95. We're going to do one more here. Found this in a bag at Savers and had no idea what it was, but I just had a feeling about it. Turns out it was an awesome vintage office supply set with many pieces. My set was almost complete in excellent condition, paid about three and listed it very high for $109.95 and took a best offer after a few weeks for $75. This is just super cool. It's a Beatland yellow little mini fridge office desk. Check it out. And this is what it looks like when you open it up. That is pretty cool, right? All right, you guys, we are going to stop there. Uh, let me know which one was your favorite, maybe a one you didn't know about or just maybe your favorite. Uh, Leave me a hat emoji in the comments. And I don't know. Thanks for being here. Subscribe if you haven't already. Check out some of my other videos and check out the description for uh, products that I use to help me with my business. Because if they're down there, I use them and I love them. And um, I probably have a tutorial video on them also. I don't talk about a lot of things that I use because I don't use tons of products, but the ones I do use. I talk about them because I love them. Um, specifically, List Perfectly, Worth Point, Photo Room. Those are the, the big ones that I use for my business to uh, make life easier. I think those are the main three. All right, you guys. Thanks for watching. Um, Bolo Buddies. <clears throat> excuse me. Bo 